You also specialize in vitamin and, and mineral, mineral replacement. What's the most common deficiencies you see today? I have to, the first thing that comes to mind is magnesium in terms okay. of the, and honestly, we're probably deficient in many things, yeah. but as you go through the course of practicing and, and uh, testing, and uh, one of the clinics that I had for about 10 years did a lot of IV nutrients, and so we were looking to replace very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, with IV nutrients, I certainly do a lot of oral supplementation now. I'm not in that setting anymore. But magnesium probably tops that list as one mm. that a lot of us are deficient in that makes such a difference in cellular uh, mm. metabolism and integrity. We hear so much more about calcium or mm -hmm. you know some of the other things that that would be the one I would name if I had to pick one. Okay. Uh, the trace minerals too. Uh, if you start reading literature, I think there's a pan insufficiency in a lot of the minerals and a lot of the nutrients. And some of that comes from how we're eating and the quality of the food mm -hmm. that, that we're eating. I, when I entered medical school in the early 80s, I had the kind of idealistic idea, well, if you eat well and you exercise, you don't need to take mm -hmm. supplements. And what is it, 30 years later, I would say that's simply not true. And I mean, I knew that within a few years of looking at profiles on people, testing people, watching. We, we don't get the nutrients through our food. They're mm -hmm. not there like they once were. And other factors uh, changing our absorption. Mm -hmm. So definitely supplementing, I think, is, is a standard everybody has to have to optimize. Mm -hmm. And then deciding which things is really the key None of us want to be taking, you know, <laughs> mounds of, of pills, right. even if they're natural, mm -hmm. every day. So, Well, you mentioned magnesium, and, and I know sleep is a big mm -hmm. part of magnesium. If someone's deficient, what are some of the ways that they might be able to know that, or what, can, what kind of signs are there? In terms of... And just in, in deficient in magnesium. You know, I went to another area in terms of for the women I treat... Um, magnesium, for example, helps the women who are having lots of PMS symptoms, mm -hmm. lots of chocolate cravings, lots mm -hmm. of cramping, for example, mm -hmm. during their menses. And uh, that's a simple correction that we start with before we get mm -hmm. more sophisticated because that can help quite a few women.